What's up guys? I'm back with another movie review. Today I'm here to talk about another one from Synapse Films and it is Path of Blood. So this is a samurai movie. It takes place um, in an era when most of the wars have kind of subsided um, and the demand for samurai has kind of gone down. Uh, you know, that was kind of their bread and butter was fighting in the battles, defending their masters, you know, these epic sword fights all over the place, power struggles. And now that there's more of like a peaceful, calm time, uh, the samurai are kind of left in the lurch because that was not only like was that how they made their, you know, their living, but it's also how they got their sense of purpose, and their sense of honor. And so not having that is having a real, uh, you know, devastating effect on some of them. Uh, most of them just wander the land and try to find work where they can, but it's just not the same kind of like rewarding and fulfilling work that they were serving out, you know, under their under their masters during wartime. But there's this rumor that there's a far flung village that's got this mysterious path on the edge of it, and uh, that if you follow this dangerous path into the mountains, um, if you can survive the trip, at the end of the at the end of the path is kind of everything that you're looking for. Uh, you know, that sense of purpose and that sense of honor and, you know, the riches, everything you could want if you can make it down this path. Um, and the movie follows a samurai who tries to navigate that path, and that's the movie. Uh, path of Blood runs about an hour long, and there is no time wasted in this movie. It picks up quick. It doesn't waste a lot of time on exposition, but it does take the time to develop characters and, you know, to have a good story, but it just doesn't get bogged down into filler it's just very lean, very tight, and it's super effective in how it tells the story. What's most interesting about Path of Blood is that this is an animated movie, and it uses a paper stop-motion style, which kind of like the early South Park episodes where it was like construction paper, you know, that was used to animate everything. That's how it is here, except this is a much more ambitious approach because you have more detailed characters, more detailed backgrounds, and it's just, it's an amazing thing to see. Another thing that's really cool about Path of Blood is that it's an absolute tribute to the old school samurai movies, um, especially Lone Wolf and Cub. This thing is blood soaked. It's got some really cool sword fights. People get their faces sliced off, limbs chopped off, the geysers of blood come out, and it's all done in this uh, paper stop motion style, which is awesome. And what's really cool about it to me is that it's it feels so familiar. It feels like you know a world that we all know and love, especially if you're a big fan of the old samurai movies like I am. Um, but it's it's told in such a unique way that it all feels almost like kind of fresh and new, which is really cool uh, because, A, you don't see a lot of samurai movies anymore anyway, but uh, to see one that takes such a unique and interesting approach is really cool. So I really liked it. Um, if you're a fan of animation, uh, action movies, samurai movies, if you just like cool sword fights, <laughs> this is definitely a movie to check out. Uh, the Blu-ray is from Synapse Films. Um, it's got a behind-the-scenes featurette, the original short film, a promotional trailer uh, there's a video game inspired trailer and some still images the transfer looks fantastic the movie just looks amazing uh, the colors look great the image is super clear super clean it's a fairly new uh, it's a fairly new movie so it's not surprising it's not gonna be weathered or beaten up or whatever but uh, it looks absolutely beautiful which is great because the animation is so incredible like I just I love this movie I had a lot of fun with it and I would certainly recommend it to anyone who has even a casual interest in animation or, uh, you know, samurai movies. Uh, that's my review of Path of Blood. If you want to read my full write-up, you can go to markfusion.com and check that out, as well as tons of other Synapse Films releases. Actually, quite a few samurai movies reviewed there as well. And, you know, well over a thousand just movie reviews of all kind. I'm also on Instagram, Twitter, Twitch, all that kind of fun stuff if you want to follow me at any of those. I'm also at Patreon if you want to get exclusive content. You can follow me on Letterboxd if you want to see what I've been watching and what might be coming here soon. All of that is under Mark Fusion. That's where you can find me pretty much everywhere. Uh, but the best way you can help me out is just to hit that sub button. Free, easy, direct way to support me in this channel and help me to continue to put out these videos, watch all these crazy movies. Uh, watching the old videos is also a huge help, uh, believe it or not. So if there's something that catches your eye in the uh, backlog <laughs> release catalog, check those out, please. Thank you so much for watching this video. I do appreciate it path of blood. I'll see you guys later.